cancer. Medical doctors are always on the lookout for new weapons against it. I have cancer and I'm being treated with hadron therapy, which is one of the latest types of treatment. The beams you see are protons and other ions, which are precisely aimed at the tumour. They are so precise, they do not damage the healthy tissue around the tumour. Producing these iron beams and targeting the tumour requires a dedicated centre. The treatment process starts from the accelerator complex. This is housed in the basement of the clinical centre and it is where the therapeutic iron beams come from. Hadron therapy accelerators may be as large as a tennis court, depending on which ions they produce. The accelerator is managed from a nearby control room. Here, beam parameters are set up and constantly monitored according to each treatment plan. The ions are initially generated and fed into a linear accelerator, then into a circular accelerator, and then steered by magnets along the beam line to reach the treatment rooms. Finally, ions go through a rotating structure, which is called a gantry, to target the tumour from different angles. The most advanced treatment rooms also accommodate imaging devices, providing detailed information on size and location of the tumour right before the irradiation. While small gantries work well to steer protons around the patient, a massive structure is required for carbon and other ions. Before each treatment session, I'm precisely positioned on a couch in the preparation room and then I go through an imaging device. This can take quite some time, but it's a crucial step to ensure that, for each daily session, my doctor knows exactly where the tumour is. Special areas to prepare children for treatment might also be available. The most advanced centres also host a research and development area to improve hadron therapy techniques and tools. There are also meeting and presentation rooms, staff offices, a cafeteria and the reception. Doctors, physicists, engineers and biologists are all working to make this technique cheaper and more effective so that other patients can benefit too. For my specific type of cancer, hadron therapy was the best option and I was lucky to have access to this type of treatment centre.